here you are. They weren't specifically our best bits. They were well, the bits, bits that you're rude. in. <laughs> the best bits are They're too rude. The best <laughs> bits. Yes. But it's a joy to work with you, and I do like to apologise for all the times I've been rude to you because I don't mean right. it. I'm completely amused. And I just wanted to say now, if, if, earlier I offended anyone coming on while Sue Pollard was there. They told me to do that as a jest, <laughs> and also if my mic was making a funny noise, I said to the sound lady, yeah. I would, um, you know put it into exposition and yeah. explain why it was on my chain. I don't know what they do when Mr T comes on. Is Mr T coming on? I, I, not that I'm aware of. All oh, right, well, he'll so be I a good guest a... for you. Yeah. You're just having your mates on, aren't you? You had Ollie this on the other day. I know. Me. Lucky, and I? Have you Super got any more hard. mates? No, that's... I've dried You're up three now, mates. Me, Holly and Sue Paul are your best <laughs> that's mates. <it. laughs> And we all go to Benidorm, we all, all go of to us. Benidorm. Um, I like your shoes, by the way. They're Vivian Westwood. Unusual. They're a bit like I've just robbed half a daily's jacket and put them on my feet. Mm, I like them. But they're comfy. But we've got to talk Vivian about Westwood. Celebrity and juice. also, Celebrity we're just juice. talking, you bought me these socks. Because I'm a good friend. Fern bought me these socks. They're Jazzy. Vivian Westwood socks as well. Now, let's talk about next week. So we're going to go live for our first juice yes. of the series. Yeah. Jonathan Ross, Scarlett Moffat. Who else have we got on? Moffat? Is that is how you say it? Scarlett Nofat. She's oh. lost a lot of timber. She's gorgeous. She and I'm really, I've never met her. I'm very excited. Lovely, I've met Emma her. Bunton's also and coming Emma on. Emma Bunton, yes. That's a good first show back. Yeah, well, Jonathan, when you go on his show, he's Jonathan Ross. But when he comes on anything he's of yours, naughty. he's like a naughty teenage boy. Mm, mm. Um, so I'm, I'm, I can't decide whether or not to wear a at, because at is my new style. Yeah. Um, but I'm a bit nervous that he might on my hat and they're quite will? expensive so I don't want him to ruin it so I might not do hat and go for the American wrestler look. Make. You know my American wrestler hair. Well your hair's got so long and luscious. It's just, just leave it and it grows. You know, know what it's like. You're, actually uh, my mum was saying the other day that she used to think that your hair was horrible and fizzy <laughs> um, but now it looks really nice. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, Positive. You, you, you must be using the right products. Absolutely. You put sugar in your hair. No, don't put sugar in your hair. You'll put sugar near your body, do you, apart from when it's in rainbow cake? Yeah, I had a bit of rainbow cake. You loved cake. that, didn't it's you? It's very naughty. You loved it. It was lovely. But that salad cake, it looks rank, it's Horrible. It? That's why we went for Jane's cake. It's salad sticky. cake? Now, a couple of very interesting people are still on your wish list, because we've had so many brilliant people on Celebrity Juice, but there's still a few that you're aiming for in the well, future. Well, Belinda Carlisle. Why uh, Belinda, specifically? I used to have her on my bedroom wall. Right. Actually, it wasn't me wall. It was me door, a door. Remember door posters? Right, yeah. Did you ever have a door poster? Yeah. Who did you have as a door poster? Hanson. Hanson as a door poster. I had yeah. a door poster of Belinda Carlisle when I was a kid. And um, I went to see her concerts a couple of times. I wasn't bothered about music. I just stare at her. Right. She thought she was beautiful. And That's I probably why she hasn't come on so far. Oh, no, no, no. She tweeted me back and oh, stuff. Really? She said, um, I'm back over in um, February and throughout the summer, but we're not on when she's over, which oh, is disappointing. Oh, what a shame. And I tweeted Kylie. And then she says she'll think about it. Which, really? Yeah, which, as we know, it's showbiz for no way. Oh, that's yeah, such yeah, a shame. Yeah. I know, I know. Because no. I'm really naive, so I just believe it and think, oh, she really wants to come on the well, show. Well, you're friends with someone I'd, I'd love to come on Celebrity Juice, Craig David. Oh, I know. And I've asked him a couple of times, and he goes, uh, last time I saw him, uh, I think it was at your wedding. Yeah. And I said, uh, will you come on, Juice? And he said, yeah, I've got some music dropping soon. And I went, He will dropping? come on, dropping, dropping. yeah. Dropping? Oh, oh, you mean coming out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But drop, they say cool. you're dropping a song, don't you? That's what you say. I think he will. I think he has been so busy with his yeah. comeback. Yeah. But I reckon maybe It'd next be good, year... It'd be good, wouldn't it? I think it'll put a lot of things to rest publicly mm. and um, we'll have just a great time. But at our wedding, you really did sort of make up because you haven't really seen each other. Yeah, we, we hugged it out. Yeah, we hugged, you it, hugged out it out. And said it were all banter and stuff. I said, hey, it wasn't even me. No, exactly. It was that other guy. Avid Merriam. That we don't talk about. Big up your chest, Avid. Absolutely. I know you'll be back someday. And it's going to be a nice reunion next week because myself, you, Holly and Gino all back on the show. Well, it was a reunion last night. We did it last night, you crank. What are you talking about? I don't know if we meant to say that. That's no, sort of episode last night's three. Record. No, because on Twitter people went, I thought it was live next week. Oh. Last night's for an episode later on. Yeah. One one of these lazy pigs is on holiday. Not me. I haven't got any holidays. <laughs> it might books. be me. Oh, it might be you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know that you've been planning this show for ages. Eight years. Really? We pitched it eight years ago and Did everyone you? said no. And then he went off and became successful. And I went off and became mildly successful. <laughs> and like you go, oh, do you want to be Adrian in Rocky? And Anna Frill, like, yeah. I love Rocky. So you've got Anna Frill, Robbie Williams, who else? Stephen Tompkinson is in Jaws, and he was amazing. He never fluffs a line once. And, uh, like, when you're doing your close-up, and um, he's just doing his lines for eye line, he does it how he does it, when it's his close-up. I'm just giving you actual information. I'm not saying anything funny. No, this we don't is... want funny. We just want information. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who else is in it? Um, Larry Lamb. Who did he... you make into Yoda? 
Schofield. Because we wanted a, a TV Brilliant. Jedi, and who is a TV Jedi? There's two Jedis. Yeah. Um, there's Eamon Holmes and, and Philip Steve. Schofield, isn't there? And he said, yeah, but he does the voice and everything. <laughs> all that, he does all that. And walk with walking stick. I was blown away. Wow. Everyone got right into it. Only person that's not in it is you, Holly, and Gino. Did but you, you know, ask me? I think I did. I did ask you to be Jabba the Hutt. Oh, I don't remember that. I did. I said, I did a text you says you up for being Jabba the Hutt tomorrow. Oh, we well, can't ask me the day before. Well, it's Johnny amazing. Vegas had dropped out, and I thought, I oh, know. Cheers. So the second No, best. but it's a juxtapose, because you're a beautiful, thin woman. Right. And, and Jabba is not a beautiful, thin woman, is it? So it's a juxtapose.